Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManet.com and in this video I want to show you how to use the Keyword Planner in Google Ads to do your keyword research. Now this will be an overview and I will give you a good idea of what to do and how to do it, but if you want to check my full complete Google Ads course where I cover all this in greater detail, check it out at YvonneManet.com slash all dash courses. That being said, let's get straight into it. Let's say we have created this new uh, campaign, Drummers for Life. We want to promote a drumming product and we don't have any keywords. What do we do? How do we start? How do we use the Keyword Planner tool? So we're going to click on Tools and Settings and we're going to go to Keyword Planner over here. And we're going to select over here and we're going to enter some ideas. Now, what is the idea of the Keyword Planner? Let's do that first, okay? Let's have an idea, an overview of what we are doing. So the idea of the Google Keyword Planner tool is to help you find keywords that are relevant to each other that you can put into buckets. So the idea of the Keyword Planner is not for you to go in and find 500 keywords that are about roughly the same topic and put them into one ad group. The idea of the Keyword Planner tool is to help you find relevant keywords that you can put into buckets. For example, drumming lessons for beginners, drumming lessons tutorial, drumming lessons for noobs, and then another ad group, another category of keywords, uh, drumming lessons for kids, drumming lessons for babies, drumming lessons for toddlers, anything like that, right? So we wanna put it into categories. The more kind of detailed categories you are, the better. So if you wanna separate toddlers from babies and you wanna have two separate ad groups for that, that's perfect, that's great. Uh, you will have a bunch of ad groups, which is totally fine and that's better. Uh, but the idea here is to put them into buckets, okay? So the more detailed they are, the better. And that's what we're using the Keyword Planner tool for. So we have it here, right? Our focus is drumming product. So we're gonna select, let's first select the country. I don't like having only one. I like having a better idea uh, of the keyword. So let's select some of the tier one countries. I believe it's Australia, New Zealand, or maybe it's not United Kingdom. Um, and let's enter Ireland as well. Okay, so at least the English speaking countries, let's have those at least. We'll click save. And the first thing we're gonna do is add keywords that are roughly, uh, that you think are about your topic. Okay, so that's where we start. It's what do you think are relevant keywords? So let's say drumming lessons, right? That's what we're doing. Um, and it depends if you're promoting, for example, online drumming lessons, make sure you say online, okay? In our case, it's just physical drumming lessons. We're taking people to an actual site where people can match with an instructor and they can take drumming lessons, okay? So let's say drumming lessons. We'll click, uh, we'll click enter and we'll click uh, maybe drumming tutorial, okay? Add another keyword, uh, maybe drumming teacher, okay? So these are roughly relevant keywords. So we're gonna click on get results and let's see what we get. Google is gonna show us results over the past year that are relevant to our topic, okay? So we have to put them into categories. Let's close out of that. So drumming lessons, drumming tutorial, drumming teacher, they could all probably go in the same bucket of people looking for a tutorial, people looking for lessons just in general. Now, this might be a little too broad, okay? Because you might have people looking for lessons for adults, and then you might have people looking for lessons for kids. And then you might have people looking for lessons that are only online lessons, right? Ours are actual physical lessons. So instead, maybe we wanna put it, we wanna go to drumming lessons near me as a category. Drumming classes near me. Learn to play drums might be a bit broad, so maybe we have a separate ad group with more of these broad keywords and we reduce the bid for those because we don't wanna pay as much, but we want to experiment and get an idea of what these people mean when they type this, these things in. So people that type in learn to play drums, what are they looking for, okay? Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna have to test. I can't tell you without testing that, but we can do the best we can and put keywords into categories that make the most sense right off the bat. So we're gonna look at average monthly searches. Uh, that's really pretty much it. That's the main thing I look at is the average monthly searches. This CPC is just an average. It, it, it can be completely off, okay? Uh, numbers here might be way off. You might be getting clicks for 50 cents. Um, this is an average if you want like all these 13, 50 clicks per month, right? So that's how many searches there are. I was able to pay way less for different keywords and still get a bunch of searches, okay? So don't, I, I wouldn't really put too much emphasis on this. 
uh, on this. Uh, my, my main concern here is this, average monthly searches and the volume, uh, to get an idea of how many people are roughly searching for this to see is there actual demand. Because if there's only five people searching for a keyword, probably not worth doing. You can add it, but you know it's you should do more research. That's not enough, okay? Uh, so these are good keywords that we're gonna add into our category of people searching for lessons near them, okay? And we're gonna take them to a page that tells them about drumming lessons near them. We can use um, the uh, Unbounds, for example, dynamic keyword replacement tool, uh, which will replace the, our landing page title with this, okay? Check out that video on Unbounds. Check out my tutorial playlist, how to set that up. Um, but that's the idea. So here we have drum lessons for kids, right? We have online drum lessons. So we probably don't want that. Uh, beginner drum lessons, this could be good. So let's select these two first, okay? So we're gonna open a notepad here. We're gonna delete that from my YouTube videos. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this into the notepad here. Um, I, I was expecting more results here, to be honest, in the keyword planner. Uh, looks like there aren't. So what we're gonna do is let's delete these, okay? And we're gonna revisit them to add different keywords. But let's say, for example, drum lessons near me. Click on get results. Uh, it looks like there's not many results, 110 out of 75. Let's see if we can show rows. Okay, so there you go. Now we're talking. So uh, it looks like it, it by default only showed us 10 at a time or whatnot. Uh, so we wanna look for anything relevant to drum lessons near me, okay? So we have this, this is great. Drum classes near me, that's fine. Uh, maybe drum teachers near me, That's that works good. Drum school near me, depends. Are you promoting a school? Because if you're not, if you're promoting a web page like we have here where people are introduced to teachers, you probably don't wanna do school because that's not it. Maybe you wanna add it into a different category and then create an ad that says, looking for a drum school? check out our teachers instead, something like that, right? Uh, I don't know what Bodran lessons means. Uh, learn drums near me, private drum lessons near me. Uh, are you doing steel drum lessons? In that case, you can do that. Uh, drum lessons for adults. Okay, so there's that thing I was talking about. You know, you have the groups for adults and for kids. So uh, in this case, we'll keep it broad. We're not gonna add for adults. Drum classes for beginners near me. So that looks good. Drum instructor near me looks good. So notice how there's not a lot of volume, there's not a lot of searches. But if you combine all of these searches together, it will end up with you know nice looking, well-rounded keywords, right? So Tyco lessons, I don't know if you offer Tyco lessons, you can add that. Drum set classes, maybe that's it. Drum tutors near me. So the idea is you wanna look for something um, the, the way you know that these keywords are similar is you, you think of the ad copy. Can you make an ad that will speak the same way to all these people? So for example, if our ad is gonna say, drum lessons near me, book now, will this ad work for people typing in drum lessons near me? I would say yes. For someone typing in learn drums near me, will our ad copy work for them? Yes, it will. That means it's a good keyword that belongs in that same category. Look at drum tutors near me. Will our ad, drum lessons near me, work for these guys? I would say so, okay? So that's how you know that the keywords are relevant. So we're gonna scroll down. Learn to play drums near me, looks good. Um, and then you would just go through this, right? And then you would take some of these keywords and then you would re-add them. So for example, here you would, uh, you would re-add drum classes near me, okay? And you would add that instead. So let's quickly add them to an actual ad group first. So we're gonna select our campaign, we're gonna select existing campaign and let's add all these keywords into that ad group. So it's gonna be drummers for life. Um, we're gonna create a new ad group and we'll say drum lessons near me. We'll click done. Uh, so we can select the broad match. I think broad match is okay. Um, in this case, we will set the bid lower if we're doing broad match, but uh, these are pretty, I would say, you know, long tail keywords. There's four or five words in that keyword. So I, even broad is probably gonna be pretty good. Uh, if we say phrase, it's probably, uh, some of them will probably not show up as much just cause someone typing in all those, but depends on your budget, uh, you could do phrase. I have a bit more budget to experiment with, so I'm gonna go with broad and that's fine. And I'm gonna add keywords. And now all these keywords are gonna be added to this 
add group called drum lessons near me, okay? Uh, let's do one more. Like I said, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of how to do this. We can spend hours here doing this. Um, so yeah, like over here, we could have typed in, you know, drum classes near me and we could see, we'll click enter, we'll click get results and we'll see um, what we get. So teachers, school near, yeah, so we went through that. So some of them are gonna be the same, some are not, but you wanna go through them and just keep, keep looking, right? That's how you do it, that's how you get ideas. If you're using broad keywords, it's not as big of a deal because you'll still get ideas as people search for stuff, um, but you still wanna put in that time and do it and just do the best you can before you actually start. So we've done that, drum classes. How about, what if, what if we do drum lessons for adults, right? So I don't know, are your lessons for adults or, 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 or for kids, right? That's for you to decide, not for me. So here we don't have a lot of searches. We have drum, drum lessons, drum, drum, drum lessons for adults. Um, we could try, so, so that is good, right? I think this is enough. Like it's, it's gonna be roughly a thousand searches a month maybe, which is great, you know, it's fine. It's very fine tuned and tailored. Just make sure you're taking people to a landing page that says drum lessons for adults. Don't just take them to, to a page that says drum lessons. Ideally, you wanna take them to exactly the page they're looking for. So let's also say drum lessons for grownups maybe. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. So it looks like for, for adults, um, that's the best option here. So what we can do is we can select this, select this. Okay, so here we have near me and it's kind of a combination. Um, so that's fine. But I do like all these keywords. So we can create an ad here that's gonna say drum lessons um, drum lessons for adults, right? And it's gonna fit for all of them. It's gonna fit for all of these. It's We might say near me, um, depends. So if this is a physical location, then for sure, you know, it's already gonna be near them. If you have an ad in a specific location, it's, it's already gonna be near them. It's not gonna be somewhere far away. But if you have an online location, then maybe even near me might not even work for you because maybe these are people that are searching for a physical space, okay? So that's something you have to test. People searching in drum lessons near me, do they, maybe they don't know that there are online classes available. So that's for you to do the test and do the research and see if that's the case. So we've added this, right? Drum lessons for adults. So we're gonna select our campaign. We have it added here. We'll select an ad group. We're gonna create new ad group. We'll say drum lessons for adults. We'll click done. And here our ads are gonna say drum lessons for adults. And then our landing page is gonna say drum lessons for adults. Again, if you don't know how to do the dynamic keyword insertion uh, for your landing page, I use Unbounce to do that. So check out my Unbounce playlist. I show you how to create a landing page from scratch, a 53% conversion rate landing page. And then I show you how to use the dynamic keyword insertion tool. So you can do that with Google, okay? Uh, we're gonna select broad for me, that's okay. We'll click add keywords. And that is how you use the keyword planner tool, guys. That is it, right? There are other sources you can use to do keyword research. I cover all that in my Google Ads comprehensive four hour course. Uh, that you know teaches you everything you need to know about Google Ads from start to finish. But this is the gist of it, how you do this keyword research. So let's go ahead and let's go back into our campaigns. Um, and let's just double check just to show you everything's been added, everything looks good. So drummers for life, let's head over here. And here we have campaigns, right? Drum lessons near me, drum less, uh, private drum lessons near me. And then we have lessons for adults. And guess what? We're gonna create separate ads for all these categories. Drum lessons for adults. You're gonna have an ad that's gonna say drum lessons for adults. Uh, I don't know if we have any ads here. We don't, so we're gonna create an ad saying that. Drum lessons near me. We're gonna have an ad that says drum lessons near me. We're gonna have a landing page that says drum lessons near me or whatever the user is typing in. And that's how you use the keyword planner tool in Google Ads, guys. Um, this is part of that journey in making your money as an affiliate. If you still haven't checked out my free guide on how to make money with affiliate marketing, uh, I teach you everything from start to finish of what is affiliate marketing and then what the process looks like. Check out my free guide, evonmana.com, free 49 or so page guide where I show you everything. That being said, um, thank you for watching. I have a Google Ads playlist as well and I have a Google Ads course. Uh, take a look, let me know in the comments what you thought. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.